They're not really helping, are they? They're kind of just stood there. Oh, no, she's got a hammer. I saw this one hold a blueprint. So Arthur is just standing there. <laughs> Arthur is not helping. And August is gonna pee their pants, but I don't really care. I feel like I'm still kind of workshopping an intro idea for this one, but hi, and welcome back to the Generations Let's Play. Yeah, this is not exactly the most pleasant way to start off an episode. I load it back into the safe to the Grim Reaper sitting on my couch and a grave in my kitchen. First of all, I want to make it very clear that I didn't do anything. Grandma died, she was very old, and it's not my fault. Sometimes it is my fault, this time it was not my fault. And the main goal for today, I think, is gonna be to age up the toddlers because they're both about to become children. And then I kind of want to redo the bedrooms here. I'm gonna have the kids share this room still, and now that grandma's dead, we can use this one for the future kid because I very foolishly decided to have another baby. <laughs> and we're almost in our second trimester. Oh boy. I'm sorry you have to go to work, Jasmine. I actually probably should have thought that through more. Her mom died like seconds ago and now I sent her off to work. Okay, can you all stop crying please? I'm just gonna put this grave in my inventory so it's out of the way. Well, that leaves us home alone with these toddlers to worry about. Let me make a cake now then and we'll just age them up. I'm sorry to Jasmine having to miss out on this one. Um, today's been a rough day for her, but it'll be fine. I'm more concerned about myself right now. And oh, look how cute that is. Oh, okay. Well, see, at least they're happy. I mean, they're not happy. They're also really upset. <laughs> Yikes. This whole grandma dying thing is really gonna ruin the vibes for like two whole days. Everyone's gonna be miserable. All right, I'm gonna add some birthday candles and I think I will just, wait, how are we doing skill-wise? Oh, oh, we're not gonna max this, are we? No, we can try. Hold on. <laughs> Let's keep trying. I was really trying before and then I kind of convinced myself that it wasn't gonna make a difference, but look how close we are to getting these skills up. Honestly, I think it is possible for us to max these. It's just gonna take a little bit of effort today. Annoyingly, both of their parents are gonna be at work. So we're gonna lose some time this afternoon. We've got until August goes to work at like three and then Jasmine won't be home until seven. How are you doing? Oh, you smell. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just do it. I was gonna try and age him up before we had to go to work, but never mind. <laughs> I'm committing to this. You don't even have communication up? Are you gonna bathe me against my will? Okay, well, April got level five. That's pretty good. We're hungry and tired. Should we just age up? Oh no, and now grandma's dead, so nobody's gonna cook for us. <laughs> Sucks. Oh no, I should have made August sleep. We have like 30 minutes. We can sleep before work, right? Amaya's calling- <gasps> Grandma is calling from the dead talking about going on dates with werewolves. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Go for it, bestie. I- I respect that. Lou is cute. All right, August is off to work. I guess I could hire a nanny. Maybe I will. I mean, the kids are just gonna sleep, aren't they? Can you bathe me? I smell. Oh, maybe you'll do it on your own. Well, I like the nanny's hair. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, and the nanny's cleaning the house. That's useful. Look at how slow this goes up now. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna max these. Well, Jasmine's home from work. Jasmine is miserable. I think I might just age the kids up, to be honest. <laughs> okay, well, I think I won't be aging the kids up. Oh no, I think Jasmine's too tired to age the kids up. I'm trying to dismiss the nanny. I don't want to keep paying for you. Okay. I might need to hire a nanny later when we have the baby. I'm starting to get a little bit worried about like the lack of help that we're gonna have. Look, this is gonna sound really bad, but do you guys wanna just go to sleep until August gets home and then August can age you up? Promoted to mixologist, oh good, okay. I was really hoping that today we'd be able to like do some upgrades to the house because it is rebate day, so we'll get a little bit of money back. We now work from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Oh, that's terrible, that's fine. Everything's fine. I've got some stuff we can sell. Gross. Grandma had some medicine and it looks like we've got a bunch of plants too. Oh, this is pretty good. Okay, we'll be able to make some sort of decent updates to the house. Look, August, this is kind of weird, but um, oh no, August is gonna pass out too. I don't think I'm gonna be able to age the kids up. I don't wanna miss their birthdays. I made a whole cake and everything. Come on, you can do it. No, no, they can't do it. Considering we don't even have like the extra kid yet. We don't even have the infant that I'm so stressed about. What are we gonna do when that baby is born? All right, Arthur has aged up. I usually randomize traits in my Let's Plays, so Arthur is going to be neat. You know what? I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> I think that's very useful. I could use somebody that's gonna help out cleaning. And then I kind of want to do one of the new aspirations. Let's do a creative genius one. This sim wants to build their creative and mental skills to inspire innovation and play. What are you doing? No, you don't need to nap in the tent. Oh my god. Okay, can you add some candles to this one and we can age up the other sim too? I kind of need to do this before it becomes 
2 a.m. because I'm really hoping to get some rebate day stuff going on. You know what? If I need to do it, just get out of the bed, okay? If I need to do it after 2 a.m., that's fine. I just want to make sure that I like redo the rooms before rebate day ends. <laughs> Because <laughs> I could get some money back this way and that's what I want. All right, so I'm thinking I might get rid of a lot of the stuff that Granny had. We do have a couple things that we can keep for the future baby. So for example, I don't need to buy a new changing table. I kept a crib from before. Is there really any point in saving this toddler potty? <laughs> Maybe I'll put it in my inventory for now. Stinky toddler potty. I think we're definitely gonna do bunk beds for the kids. We could probably use the new one because there's actually some really cute swatches on this. Oh, look, this this one's got like some pictures on it. Yeah, I think that I like this dinosaur one a lot. There's a few things that I wanna get. Like I really wanted to have a tree house. I probably in hindsight should have had grandma help build this. <laughs> I probably should have gotten some help before she died. It's too late, I didn't do it. We just gotta suffer the consequences. But I'll buy one of those. I think it might also be nice to have a desk so the kids can do their homework. I'd really like to have a little activity table but it might be best for us to buy that and then like put it in the tree house just because there's more space. Oh, I can get rid of this toddler stuff now too. So we can kind of put our patio back to normal a little bit. I think now is also a good time for us to invest in a better TV. I'm just trying to think of stuff that's gonna help us when everybody's getting a little bit older. We've already got some nice bathroom things. We've got a nice bed. I might buy a better computer right now too. I know it's expensive, but we've been using it a lot for work and it's rebate day. So we're gonna get a little bit of money back. What else do we need for the kids? Like what else would be genuinely useful for us? Maybe like one of these little friendship bracelet makers kits. I put the Blarfy. We have a musical instrument there. Maybe I'll just leave it at that for now. Just because we have some money left doesn't mean that we need to spend all of it, you know? <laughs> That's probably a good idea. And then we can age up the last baby. Come on, April. Happy birthday. I like this room. I think it- oh, okay. <laughs> Arthur's crying in bed. Oh no. All right, April's aging up. Happy birthday. Okay, April, also a randomized trait, is going to be insider. Actually, I refuse to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Green feet, no. Bookworm, okay, that is better. <laughs> that one is more interesting. I'm sorry, I just, I don't wanna play with insider. To me, that is like the most boring trait out of all of them. Wait, I kinda wanna have her be a creative genius. Maybe I'll switch her brother's aspiration. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm just deciding how I want this storyline to play out. Do any of these scream neat to you? <laughs> the playtime captain one is kinda fun. We can like use a splash pad and ride bikes and stuff. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, we're aged up, got a new room. Um, you don't really have to eat that right now, you know. <laughs> you don't have to stay up at 2 a.m. and eat your birthday cake. I can see why you might want to, but you don't have to. You can actually both go to bed if you'd like. And then in the morning, I'll probably redo their outfits and stuff. You know what else we need to do is go and find August's mom's grave. Jasmine has work in an hour. She's not doing well. What, are you eating in the- okay. <laughs> She's eating cake in the bedroom. August just became acquaintances with Murphy? Oh no. Is it that bad? Ooh. Listen, I'm not opposed to cheating relationships sometimes times if I need to. Maybe I'll cheat some family relationships as well. <laughs> These other kids are like kind of family, so that's our friend's husband. This is our sister-in-law. Sometimes you gotta do it for the story. Uh, probably won't be cheating the Grim Reaper relationship. That doesn't sound like very much fun to me. <laughs> Winterfest tomorrow, oh god. All right, well let's go into Cass and give these kids some new outfits and stuff. Oh my gosh, she's really cute. I have absolutely no idea what hairstyles I wanna use. I think this one is really pretty. I also like this one a lot though. I think I might use this one. Oh, maybe I'll random her likes and dislikes too. Okay, so she hates green. We like Latin music. We like hardworking Sims. Oh, that means that she gets along well with neat Sims, so her and her brother are gonna be compatible. We like affection and mischief. All right, what about her brother? So he likes orange and new age music. He likes egotistical Sims, great, and gossip, and he doesn't like dancing. I honestly, I relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> Not the egotistical Sims part. I don't know if I uh, get along with egotistical people, but the dancing. I, I don't think I like dancing. Okay, so I finished April's outfits and I was kind of trying to keep in mind when I was picking these that it is winter time. So I gave her a lot of like sweaters and stuff for them. I also realized as I was doing this, just how often I use green stuff on my Sims. It felt like everything I wanted to use was green. And of course she went and decided she doesn't like green. So <laughs> that made it kind of hard for me. I'm gonna do her brother's outfits now. He said he likes 
orange. Oh my gosh, should I use this Star Wars hair? It looks a lot like August's hair. Maybe I will do that. I did not set out today thinking that I'd be using the Star Wars pack on my Sims, but here we are. I'm gonna make him and his sister wear matching pajamas again. I feel kind of bad making them like so matchy matchy when they're a little bit older, but I think that pajamas are always a safe bet. I don't think it's like that far-fetched that their parents would buy them matching pajamas either. Okay, I just finished all of Arthur's outfits too. So here's his cold weather, his everyday, his formal, his athletic, his matching sleepwear, his party wear, his swimwear, and his hot weather outfit. I think they turned out pretty cute, but I'm starting to get nervous now about this second baby that we're gonna have. Oh God. Okay, we're both up and crying. That's not a good sign. <laughs> okay, you can shower and like use the bathroom and stuff. You can come get some food. Is that like a floating plate? Oh my God, Jasmine can take family leave. It's happening. <laughs> we're gonna have a baby. I regret this so much. Okay, August needs to like practice some cooking and mixology too before we go to work. I guess we don't have work for like three more days. That's kind of inconvenient. I wish this was happening like starting tomorrow so that I would be home when the baby is around. You can like fitness, Arthur. That's fine. All right, how do these two feel about their aspirations? You want to stomp playfully on a splash pad and get level three motor skill. You want to play in the tree house and get some creativity skill. Okay, we don't have a tree house yet. I guess August is going to be home so they could probably make it for us. Maybe after you eat this, we don't really need to work on any work stuff for a while because we've got three days off. So you can just go build the treehouse. Can you guys help? Oh, you can. Okay, I'm gonna make you help. I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is like a, a family affair. Oh, their aunt is here. Oh, you actually could probably come introduce yourselves now that I think about it. I'll cheat their relationship with her too. <laughs> like I said, I'm just here to try and like, you know, tell a story. And I would like to imagine they are kind of close with her. Technically in game, sure, they don't know her. But this way it gives us a head start. She's been around the family enough and like been around the house enough that they would know her. Oh, I forgot to mention this, but I also gave the kids matching shoes. I was trying to do little things, little tiny details that felt realistic to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought just buying a couple sets of the same shoes, that worked. Yeah, you have to help your parents build this. I'm sorry, but this is gonna be a team effort. Angela, can you help, please? <laughs> the more we work on it, the better it goes. Oh, supportive family dynamic. Oh, I really like the story of that, of her and her aunt having a supportive dynamic. Yes, please. They're not really helping, are they? They're kind of just stood there. Oh, no, she's got a hammer. I saw this one hold a blueprint. So Arthur is just standing there. <laughs> Arthur is not helping. And August is gonna pee their pants but I don't really care. I want to finish this. What time did we get the third trimester notification? I don't really remember. Okay, the treehouse is done, so that's good. We can actually use it now. Maybe I'll put this thingy up in here. You can like slot a few things to the treehouse. A few of the toy items and stuff will slot up here. It's kind of cool. I like the little detail of that. Maybe you can come make a friendship bracelet. You can make one for your brother. Oh, and we can make winter crafts too. I'd like to make some holiday decor because tomorrow's winter fest. I heard you and Angela Bird are good friends now. You're getting more popular. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am very popular. Thank you. Are those some presents for me? All right, I'll take it. Jasmine's home from work as well and not doing that well. Yeah, she's probably gonna pee her pants. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Oh no, and this is broken too? Oh god. Uh, maybe Jasmine can fix it. She's having a rough day. She's very pregnant. She's on her hands and knees trying to fix this broken shower. Oh, did you finish the crafts? They must be up here still. <gasps> yes. Oh, we got some little like Winterfest cards. Oh, that's really cute. Can I make you make some too? I want something to hang on the walls, like some sort of holiday themed item. <laughs> I'm trying to make my kids make me decorations because I don't want to spend money on them. I fear that Jasmine will give birth like any second and then we're gonna have another kid to worry about. Uh-oh, the cat's gonna like fall off of this. That doesn't seem safe, buddy. The way that you have like perched yourself there on top of this cat tree. Um, can you get on there a little bit more please? Cause you're kind of scaring me. Okay, there we go. I know they won't actually fall off. Like that doesn't actually happen in The Sims. It's still just the thought of it that kind of freaks me out. Oh, did you make like some garland? Oh, look how cute that is. Maybe I could put it, I don't know, behind the cabinets in here. We got these little snowmen. That's actually kind of cute. Oh, I need to make the kids make more crafts for like all the holidays. <laughs> I should use that feature more because it really is kind of adorable. Okay, everybody's asleep. No, we did go into labor. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> if we have twins, I probably should check that, huh? It's not twins. I checked. Okay. <laughs> if we were gonna have twins again, I was gonna fix that problem because I, I do not want more than one baby again. What are you doing? Go have the baby. Am I gonna make her go to work tomorrow? Maybe. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. I need to save myself some time. We don't have that many days off and I'm gonna need those when we have the infant. Okay, it's a boy. We already have like the A theme going. We've got Arthur and April. I'm wondering if we should do a J name with this baby, kind of like naming it after Jasmine. What do you think about the name Jace? Does that fit in with like the theme? To be honest, the name James kind of fits the theme better. Arthur, April, and James. What about Jamie? Oh, I kind of like Jamie. Arthur, April, and Jamie. I'm gonna do it. Okay, not twins. <laughs> not twins. Oh, don't go in there. Okay, I can put the baby back in the nursery. I'm gonna need to redo this room a little bit. I've not really, you know, put any thought into it yet, but that's okay. I'll come talk to the baby and then I'm just gonna go to sleep because I need to go to work tomorrow. Oh, I should change his outfit. We've got so many options. Oh no. No. Good morning. Do you want to come meet your sibling? <laughs> no, you shouldn't wake him up. You shouldn't do that. You should go back to bed. It is 5 a.m. Oh, good. The pain is going away. They're not sad anymore. Oh, that is such a relief. <laughs> I was getting real sick and tired of the constant sadness in this household. Oh, we don't have to go to work. It's Winterfest. Oh, oh, well, that's good. Can you come change the baby's outfit? Which one should I pick? Green bean. Oh, pandemonium. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me take care of the baby too. I'll like feed you and stuff. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. The second I like escaped the infant stuff, I'm just right back in it. Oh, we can put up some decorations for the holiday too. Oh, they went all out. The lights look really nice on our roof line, huh? I like that. Uh-oh, who's calling? Oh, all right. Just some random friendship call. That's fine. <laughs> One more thing I wanted to make sure we did today was go and find that grave. So August's mom lived in Willow Creek. I think I put her in this Park Shore house. Unfortunately, she's dead. So I <laughs> don't remember. Do you see a grave anywhere? Um, do you happen to see one inside at all? Maybe outside? It looks like there's furniture in the house though, which there probably wouldn't be if she had actually died here. Cause when the last sim in a house dies, they take everything with them. That's why you have a lot of empty houses like around your town. Maybe if you've been playing in a save for a while, it's because the Sims take all their stuff when they die off. Do you think I put her here? Did I already take the grave? Am I being silly right now? Forget it. Let's just go home. The grave can be lost. I don't care. Oh, it's one of the cousins. Do you know what? Before we leave, where did you all go? Did I bring you with me to the other house by accident? <laughs> I was gonna say before we end the episode, maybe I'll make a little club of the other kids. I always do this. It's a great way to meet the other kids in town. Plus like Jackson's our cousin and Rami is like basically our cousin because his parents are close friends with our parents. I don't know if I should add other kids in yet or not. Maybe I'll add Evie. Small club. Sometimes I pretend that it's like a scouts club, <laughs> even though it's not. It's just a way for me to meet the other kids. That is the sole purpose behind it, but. Oh, it's kind of cute actually that he's here. Oh, this isn't my house. I thought, I <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was my house. I was wondering why, like, oh, the kid's in our house. No, I don't live there. I live here. That's why the family wasn't with me because I wasn't in my house. All right, that explains a lot. You know what? Maybe now's a good stopping point. I, I clearly don't know what's going on. This is a good sign that we should leave. So on that note, you know what? Today's not all bad. Sure, it's a little bit scary. We've got another baby. Um, we're in for it. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about that and we've got no help, but we made some like house improvements and now we have so many new like kids stuff that we can play with, like the tree house, we can play with the bikes. We can like really, really try to use a lot of this new stuff. Maybe I'll get them both a bike. <laughs> I kind of like that. We can teach the kids how to ride their bikes. I don't know, it's gonna be fun. So on that note, I'm gonna end the episode right here. I'm gonna link the playlist down below if you wanna go back and watch more of it. Hopefully you like the name that I picked. Usually I ask for suggestions and like check and stuff. This time I just went for it. <laughs> I didn't even bother asking or looking. I just picked one. So hopefully you like it and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Notice how I very strategically ended this episode as soon as the baby started crying because I am not interested in dealing with that right now.